Yo, so it's been it's been a very it's been a very dope year so far for music in general. Uh for hip hop more specifically. It's been it's been a few dope albums. Listen. Not even just albums, it's been a dope few singles as well. Bro, it's so. it's been fire. So we're at the halfway point, so we figure, yo, let's get some recognition to the to the albums that have dropped so far. So this is our list, this is our top ten rap albums of twenty twenty two. Mm -hmm. so far mm -hmm. this is as of june 29th we'll also be doing our top three songs from each album also yeah stick around to the end of the video we're gonna have our uh honorable mentions bro you want to go first you want me to go first how you how you want to start it how you want to start it bro how do i want to start it how you want to start it dog i'll go for... hold up hold up hold up hold up let me ask you this first before we start. Do you have any surprises on your list? Do I have any I albums? Almost, did, almost albums that you feel either I or our viewers will be surprised. Almost, nah. None? Nah. Everything that's on there, you feel Actually, like. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have a couple, one or two. I think, I think I have two surprises. What you got number ten, bro? My number ten is Future. The city I'm in. I keep me no fully, no matter what I'm in. I have such an ass, you gon' think you can win. You fucking me good, but you helping me win. Niggas can't see me. I admit, it it took some time. It well, not really some time. It did grow on me before even getting into the album. The first two things you would notice is the the cover, and then the title, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so off of just those, I was expecting some some something to do about his dating life so he got me to even get to the album to listen to it he decided to kind of tone down the drug talk the drug use talk um you know focus on something different it was more got the hendrix yeah we got kind the hendrix yeah. Side, yeah. yeah yeah so we got that side and and, and i enjoyed it what do you say you fucking me you helping me helping win. me win bro but that was a, that's le that's stuck, legit stuck, a mantra stuck with it's me it's a mantra life. bro yeah helping me you win helping me win <laughs> so so yeah that that was my number 10 my top three i already mentioned one of them it was 7 12 p.m yeah. so that was one puffing on zooty has to be was was the yeah. second one and then obviously wait for you with tams tams yep. what she did with that what yep. she did with her part on that track on that track yeah and that track was phenomenal yep. what drake did as well he was a feature as well what's your number 10 bro at number 10 i got koji radical reason to I smile never, i ain't never heard that album bro life. you koji need to, koji radical, radical. We only count in summers in the city that I'm from. Had to live up because not too many live long. I figured if I I started listening to it in the crib and I had some errands to run today. The first few tracks I heard, I was like, wait, nah, I'm gonna be bumping this. I'm gonna see what's up with this project. Okay. Running errands the whole day, bumped the whole album, didn't skip anything. Didn't skip any, bro. The, 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 it's so consistent mm -hmm. the, and it has. It's a vibe, bro. But then the talk is real. Bars are there. It's just a whole experience, bro. I mm -hmm. really, I really enjoyed that project. And top three tracks: Born, Nappy, and Gangsta. So that was one of mine that I feel like a lot of people would be surprised by. I see Nux. Nux on is here. on there. Nux is on there. I see Rex Life Raj. I think Rex Life is dope. Rex Thirty Two. Rex Thirty Two is fire. Out of the projects we gonna get to today. I know that's that one's gonna be one of the lesser known ones. So yeah. I know a lot of reviewers might not have heard that project. Mm -hmm. This is not a paid statement. I'm not <laughs> affiliated in any way. <laughs> this is just purely me enjoying it. Go check that project. It's yeah. fire. I stand on that. And speaking about Nux being on the album, Nux made my number nine. Word. Yeah. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Nux Alpha Place. Never mind, devil's kind of high stakes. I put the stake on the table for the right place. I put my fork in your force and make you think forward. Four and I've been jawed. I show first like my drinks poured. Bigger and what's dope about this is I don't think I would have heard it unless if we didn't decide. I think you're like, yo, let's 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 check out this next album. I hear people on Patreon talking about. It. I hear people on YouTube talking. About it. Let's check it out. We checked it out and it ended up making my top nine, mm -hmm. my top ten, my top ten list. So yeah, going into the album, I did not know what to expect. Didn't know what sound to get from it at all but what i got in the end was 13 tracks that was 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 dope it was amazing and i also got a new artist to add to the rotation so so that was dope top three tracks was nice and good leon the professional i don't know if you remember that yeah show. hell yeah the, the, the assassin <laughs> yeah. yeah and then die hard with stormzy word stormzy yeah stormzy did his thing on there as at, always at, at next next really showed off on this project for me obviously because it's his the, he's a uk artist yep. by the way if you want to check him out um but yeah 
dope, dope album, bro. Fire. It, it just, it just missed my just list. Missed so I'm happy that I'm really happy that it made some, yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number nine. It's your number nine, bro. Bro, you know I gotta have some Griselda in here. Okay. Conway the Machine. You got that at number nine. God don't make oh, mistakes. Oh, number eight. Okay, 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 okay. The money for a money left with foul odor. I'm Kobe Bryant on my team. I'm the fucking close in. Look at Sway 80, the baby woke up. The mark of consistency. Like, you already know what you're gonna get, you know the quality you're gonna get, and it never dips. Top three Chanel Pearls. They just dropped a, a video for that as well. Did you see it? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, there, there you go. You got some Where? more, more I'm, content. I'm here. <laughs> Chanel Pearls. Yeah. You know I gotta have. Spray 80, the baby woke, woke up. up. Yes, sir. What? John Spray Woo Flick. 80, the baby woke <laughs> what? up. Yeah. And then lock, load. load. <laughs> what? That's my top three off that joint. Bro. Let's go. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah. Talking about Griselda, my number eight is Benny. Benny? <laughs> I feel like this that is talk? this is pretty smooth, bro. Just yeah. back to it. Yeah, Benny. Benny the Butcher. That talk. Tana Talk 4. That talk. Sasha's still me, my ability to turn words to imagery. Probably the reason they gon' remember me. Figure we walk this tightrope with a feline's agility. The streets did so much shit. Griselda in the it's building. Griselda, it, it speaks bro. for itself. What you mean? And he, he did an amazing job on the album. I mean, if we if we compare it to, to the Tanatog 3, I'd prefer the Tanatog 3. But when I read what he said on um, Apple Music, I'll read it actually. He said, um, Tanatog 1, I took over the hood. Tana Talk 2, I was still in the hood. I took over the city, though. Mm. Tana Talk 3, I took over the underground. Mm -hmm. And then Tana Talk 4, I feel like I'm taking over the world, mm -hmm. honestly. I remember we said he was he's, he's tapping into the mainstream, and I feel like the mainstream is kind of like the world, so to speak. So he's really taking over. The cold feature. And the cold feature, too, that's the first track on the album. Johnny P's Caddy. Bro. First track on the just, album. It's a statement. And do you remember, do you remember, you know what? Let me just give you my, my top three. Johnny P's Caddy, first track on the album. Mm -hmm. Uncle Bun, featuring 38 Special. And Tyson versus Ali, yeah. featuring Conway. Those are my top That's three. That's a big track. That's you know, a huge that track, That Tyson bro. versus Ali Cause, track. Because what he said in there, too, he, is like, he yo. He broke down a lot, and yeah. then you just felt it. Like, yeah, the, like, the, don't the relationship. compare us. Yeah. We, we rock with each other. You guys are dissing us. Wow. Yeah. He's in the studio, you know, cheering me on. Yeah, yeah tough. Yeah, she got it. a number eight. Number eight. I got the man himself. Ransom. 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 No rest for the wicked. But still, I'm spitting with the best bravado. When shit is rocky, you gotta test the heart that's in the chest of Drago. Damn. But even Obama left Chicago. Just say legend when you speak of ransom. That was a fire album. Every. Oh, one through, what, 13? One through 11? What, what, how much every single 11. bar. Fuck song. Every single bar. <laughs> Bar. I might say bar, not the song. Every single bar. Top three circumstances featuring the game. Overnight success. Yo, yeah. yo. Overnight success is amazing. When I tell y'all about overnight success, nice. it took me years to get success overnight. Night. And then when you think about Ransom's uh story, mm -hmm. bro, mm -hmm. and, and how he's gotten to where he's at, and how he's been doing this, and how he recently started really getting the recognition that he's supposed to get Been and and to get. still and still supposed to get more based yeah. on his ability and, and what he does and so. then number three was beautiful grave sites listen y'all listen to that shit if you haven't already ransom shout out to ransom bro number seven i got vince yeah. vince staples Want to use protection with you, but the glove will keep you safe if you ever get loose. Never put you in the jam, hold whatever for you when you first shot your shot. That, to be honest, before we, we we started doing the the list, when we said, "Yo, let's do our top 10, I wasn't going to include them because the album the album was good for me at that time when we decided to do this. But days leading days leading up to here. I was like, all right, let me listen, let me listen, let me listen, listen to the thing. And honestly, when sparks fly, that could probably be the only reason why this is number seven, bro. That track, that track, what he did with that track, where he's talking to the gun as if, as if it's a woman, and then the second verse with the guns talking to him, that track alone, bro, brought that from, I don't think I'm going to include it, to, yo, this this, this got to be here, bro. This got to be here somewhere. Magic was the only song I wasn't really feeling on that, but 
that that sparks fly the beach the the fluidity of it as well the just transitions from the beach being the first track and you hear the ocean sounds and then you get to the last track and the first thing you hear as well is the beach coming back it felt different it felt more personal because he also connected it to the um to his 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 um his neighborhood that he grew up in so when sparks fly favorite track off the album a free the homies was 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 my number two uh free the homies yeah and the east side prayer featuring a little baby, baby tough track where we were my top three bros uh this number seven for me mm -hmm. i got king push push i got king push coming in number seven with it's almost dry uh big album until it's too late. Just so you remember who you dealing with. The number don't change. I know who the chemist is. Brick by brick, we kept open dealerships. So just just off reading the reading the about the album on paper, just you anticipate, yo, this is some shit. Like look at these names we got. Yeah. And then you listen to Push's uh his mindset going into the album and, and, and what was done and how uh pharrell brought something different out of him than kanye did and then you go into the music you actually hear it you hear how uh kanye was bringing out kanye with his production was trying to bring out the bars like more bars and then pharrell was trying to bring out a more get him to use his voice more in a more animated way and like tell a story with just his cadence and his voice dope project love will push deal with that neck and wrist i love it more now wow, yeah that shit is crazy crazy yeah hove killed that yeah, shit sure. pushed to this thing as well so you're saying that's bad uh, oh yeah that's one definitely one three? of my top three what the okay. hell uh, neck and wrist sure. let the smokers shine the coops let the smoke shine the coops and then just so you remember who you dealing mm, with nigga. yeah push a t it's almost dry coming in at number seven for me bro my number six is saba saba a few good it. things Dope. I went to that concert and that really solidified his his his, his position on my mm -hmm. list. He performed one of my favorite songs on the album, Survivor's Guilt. And before getting into the concert, I was like, yo, this guy better. If he did not perform this, I would have been slightly, slightly disappointed <laughs> in the concert. But uh, the project was dope. But I also feel like he was um either trying to find himself a little bit or already found himself and is just telling you from his point of view because most of the songs were, were really personal i mean like um f let me just give you my top three while we're at it survivor's guilt as mm -hmm. i mentioned still featuring black and uh smino fire and a few good things as a title track i think that was the last track but those all those three tracks put together just those three alone bro it's just he had fear manga in there as well there was there were so many tracks that stuck with me but these three were definitely dope and a few good things was was it. executed perfectly bro so this is number six for me this is number six for you bro vince staples you have vince staples at number six at number six ramona park nice. broke my heart to teach, but then these niggas think you trying to preach and i ain't got no time for nobody y'all here trying me right around the city say what's up don't be playing with my you mentioned that uh you you didn't have it on your list at first and I then didn't. recently you got it there exact opposite for me this is one of the first ones yeah i had on my list like, first i wrote this down like you were not moving <laughs> yeah it, it was this and a couple others that yeah. i knew this is this was there for me mm -hmm. bro when this dropped i've like it, it was a week straight where it's, it's all i played it was all i played bro I love the vibes when you mentioned he gets more personal, like we get it to see a, a, a more of an insight into him as a person and where he where he comes from, yeah, like what yeah. and how that shaped him, shaped him yeah. and and how he responded to his environment. I have East Point Prayer with Lil Baby. Uh, that's just fire. I never yeah. I never would have thought a Vince little, Staples and Lil, Lil Baby, Baby. Yeah. but the shit works and it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Lil Baby did his thing, killed yeah. that shit. When Sparks Fly is yeah. a this is a masterpiece. Masterpiece. It's crazy. Bro. And then I have paper cuts. Uh, those are the ones I would tell someone to go listen to, to if listen. I'm putting them on to it. And so my number five, Ransom. No rest. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. That's well done if you said it's beef. Instead of grief, we passed our test. It's time that you met a piece. Used to be a nightmare counting bodies instead of sheep. Just got my dream job, but ironically now I never sleep. I, I, I almost slipped up because I'm like, yo, that's, that's what you have? <laughs> 
but yeah fam, this this one i literally have it written here this one probably doesn't need any any explanation 11 solid tracks with feature the features all every single one of them delivered the producers delivered as well i think nicholas craven was craven. one of them fire i literally have written it if you want that motivational music yeah that hits you with the lyrics alone a couple with the beats if you need to take this to the gym i literally have it written there listen to this before a business meeting listen to this before you go to a job interview bro, bro life overnight success every single oh except you you mentioned three tracks i think rituals was one of them no nah. i had uh circumstances overnight success and beautiful grave okay. size rituals was one of my favorites you might Ritual. have sold a brick or two but you don't, you don't know the rituals nah you don't what overnight success had to what had this to have crazy. this there and then captions and this album you enjoy it it's just quality music from one to twelve no matter what what was singles or the album itself was just amazing that was five that was uh, was it five or six damn five. i have it on five, five. okay five. Right, so. five. yeah yeah Yo. i'm not mad at that i'm with that what you got at number five this is another one i felt is when I say I have a surprise. It was the, my very first one, number ten. Honestly, and now never mind. Five. Relax, as if. Uh, <laughs> Red veil. Learn to swim. I haven't heard it, but oh, tell me how bro, was how was it? You have to go listen to that shit, dog. Is, is this the one where he's like half of his face is in the water? Is like yeah, purple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you have to go listen to that shit, bro. Is that good, T bro? Learn today, to swim. It's Thirty-six minutes too. Prince, today. I got you, bro. <laughs> he's talking. Okay. Not just with bars. He has bars, but he's talking about some real shit, bro. And, and then the perspective he has, he he doesn't. He's not trying to like fit in to any specific lane in terms of a way of thinking like he has his way of thinking and he's bold about it bro mm -hmm. and it everything is just smooth dog it's just the whole thing is smooth and and the ideas are communicated like so efficiently and you just you just get it bro like i'm listening to it and then off rip i'm just like yeah i'm here yeah i'm here top three pg baby hold on let me add them things right now PG baby, PG baby, new info, right, right under the new okay. info at back home. When I was listening to it, I was so mad we didn't do a reaction to it. Of course, because we wanted to give it to y'all. Shout yeah. out to y'all, love, love. Always. But also because I felt like we, we, sh like it deserves it, yeah. bro. Like you know, what I was like, this one deserves it, bro. Yeah. Number four, my number four. You had this earlier. Conway the Machine got the yeah. mistakes. Mm. Hey, you know me. My, mm. That's that's my guy. <laughs> Got that shit on you, killing them, that's just saying the least. You about to get away with murder, you my Annalise. Got you the bust down Cardi, that's 30 bands at least. Chanel Pearl, Chanel bag, hold that What I loved about this project, bro, he gave, he didn't stick to that complete gangster, you know, lifestyle. He gave you some, some relationship. He gave you some, for example, like a track like Stressed, on Stressed, where he really got a little bit personal. It, I think he compared it. He compared it to one of the tracks on west side guns um okay the track is called the cow and the last thing he says on the cow is this is one of the realest things i've ever wrote mm -hmm. and so for him to, to have this personal um where well, he's been really vulnerable with with his listeners getting personal on a track he talks about relationships he talks about losses griefs in tracks like uh, chanel pearls chanel pearls wild chapters those are all tracks where he's not really talking about the gangster, the, the 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 you know the drug life, the gangster life. My top three was the exact same top three. You got Lock Load, Chanel Pearls, and then obviously John Woo Flick, because you know when they link together, it's, it's, it's always it's a, a track. movie. It's, it's a always flick. a movie. What you trust mean? me, bro. What trust me. Mean? Top four. What's your what's what you got at number four, bro? Number four. Yeah, this guy got number four. You ready for this, bro? Denzel Curry. Talk to God on the daily. Told him that the reaper can't take me in this land desire to hate me. Of all things, my mental suffers greatly. They draw guns, so how could lead erase me? Melt My Eyes, See Your Future is yeah. one of the best projects to drop in a while. We went into it. We were, we were expecting this energy that that we, we, we were sure. Like, we were, oh, yeah, we're going to get that. Uh, 
in the sumo, that sumo yeah, track. We, like, we were going into it like that. Bro. And then he gave us this measured, precise, meticulous writing style along with a very specific vibe that you couldn't help but just like once once we got to it it was like oh okay this is what it is okay 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 and you just couldn't help but just fall into it he has this this these these are not my top three yeah. but he has a three track run i think it goes uh Hold it's, up. let me can i guess it before you say it? is it is it early in the project why you at if you don't guess it guess it my guy <laughs> it's is it is it troubles to x-wing nah okay it's walking walk in to john wayne john wayne yeah it was, that was my second guess walking <laughs> then worse comes to worse, worse yeah. then john, john wayne. wayne that shit yeah. was wild that three track run is crazy mm -hmm. i can't say enough about this project uh if you haven't heard it go go check it out we did a review for it go go peep that we had a good time with that mm -hmm. um on first reaction and as much as I enjoyed it on first reaction, my listens after it just got better, better. every time. Exactly. Every time. Exactly. Top three is ain't no way. Okay. Except for the first part. <laughs> <laughs> then that, that part, I still, 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 still I still, I'm still not there. I'm, right. I, I seen what some of y'all said that you like it. It's like a break, and then it gets back. Nah, I'm still not. I'm still not there with it. Uh, so ain't no way. Mm -hmm. Worst comes to worst, mm -hmm. and then the ills. The ills. That's the last track on the album. The ills is yeah. so good, bro. That track is so good. <laughs> Denzel Curry, melt my eyes, see your future. Music is fire. Artwork is crazy too, and mm -hmm. like just the visuals that go with the project as well. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything around the project is just, fire. it's just all fire. It's mm -hmm. Dope, I agree. dope, dope. Now we get into the top three. Top three. Top. Top three. Talk. Top three. Top three. Talk. Push a T. Yeah. Push a T. Yeah. It's almost dry. Yeah. Top three. Yeah. Flows untouched, the drums is tough. Drive cullin' in when roads get rough. Snows a must, the nose adjust. Young G's like we hove and puff. Best jewelries and hoes we lust. The singles had me so amped for this for this project, bro. Hear me clearly. Which is also um which is also off of Nigo's album. Neck and wrist. I should have probably said that first, to be honest huge track fam bro huge and yeah and jay-z if if you if you're not tapped in jay-z is the feature on that on that um on that track and now that you know that go check out the whole album not just Feast the track your <laughs> eyes the, the piece, piece unique is, is sapphire, sapphire. <laughs> yo bro. that is a very memorable <laughs> verse as well bro and in the recap, we did a recap for it actually. It's on Patreon if you want to check it out. We gave you guys the bars on YouTube. But the recap, the full recap is on Patreon. And on that, I said I rated it 8.8. 8. And after saying 8.8, 8, I said I feel like it's going to grow on me. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. You, you mentioned the Pharrell and Kanye entirely producing the tracks. I, I don't know if it was 50-50, but they both had a hand in it. And you also mentioned how they kind of push, push, they kind of push, push mm -hmm. the right to, 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 to step his game up a little bit with the pen and i think he also said that he inspired them to to he pushed them to make better not better beats but fire beats and so both of them together bro pharrell and kanye on an entire yeah project kind of pushed them out of their element a little bit he i can, can kind of hear and, that yeah and so what we got out of that was an amazing project yeah. my top three let the smoke and shine the coop coops neck and wrist and diet coke who you got this 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 is about to be someone i i don't expect because you've you've said you but you've probably said everyone that i expected to be in your top three all the people that i thought would be in your top three all the albums you've already said it so your top three. Lamar. oh what <laughs> With the way I was brought up, what's the difference when your heart is made of stone and your mind is made of gold and your tongue is made of sword, but it may weaken your soul? Okay, I think I know he's top two then. That's crazy. Kendrick Lamar. But that's fire. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Why are you so. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta. Hold on. Before I even. Speak I was my shocked. Piece. Bro, I thought on everything I love. You thought it was number one? And number one or number two? Yeah. For you. Yeah. For you. And when it comes to music, perspective can change over years. Mm -hmm. So it's it's still very early mm -hmm. for for this for this project. The album is really well balanced, bro. That's one. Yeah. It's 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 so well balanced in terms of the Kendrick that you get. Yeah. 
I feel like you could talk to you could talk to ten different people and you'll get ten different things. Or ten different perspectives, ten different opinions Facts. about this album. I feel like it speaks Facts. to people in such different ways. Facts. Because in part because it's so balanced. Like there's so much on it uh for you. It's just really a movie. Like Facts. It's legit a movie, bro, Facts. that that the, the, the man made, bro. Movie, book. Some some it, piece of art. It's more it's than just music. Painting. Yes. It's, it's wild. Yes. It's, yes. it's it's wild. It's yeah. wild. I just chose the songs that I've been listening to the most yeah. off the album, and it's Rich Spirit. Rich Spirit. And ninety five. And ninety five. Slap it. And to me, my favorite song off the album, easily, not easily. That's a lie. But definitely, 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 my favorite song off the album, Father Time. Featuring Sample. My number two is Denzel Curry. Yeah. Denzel Curry, melt your eyes, see your future. Bullets curving left and right, sort of like parentheses. Viciously, I could turn your sympathies to symphonies, and I could send you up the same day you try to send for me. That was an amazing album. As Bro. you said, what we what we got from him before, Taboo, that was energy filled. It felt like like hardcore. Yeah. Jump in, have a whole pop, mosh, mosh pit. pit and shit. Bro, that's how it felt. <laughs> And what he did on this album was completely different. It, it felt like the energy flipped, but it didn't. He gave you he gave you that same energy, but he picked certain moments to give it to you. It, it almost felt like it was therapeutic, the album itself. Even the title, Melt Your Eyes, See Your Future. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. And so my my top three was walking. I got, from the moment I first heard that song. I couldn't let it go, bro. Yeah. Walking was them was one of them. X Wing was another one of my favorites. That's a hit. That that one, yeah. But and then ain't no way, ain't no way. I had to. You rock with that first part. I, I rock with it, bro. Yeah. I rock with it. Damn. It took me a while. You joined the dark side. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I did still. It took me a while, but you know, I had to. I had to appreciate it and and how they. How they gave Rico her her part, but yeah, bro, this 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 album was amazing, bro. His his balance, his his whole his whole demeanor on it. What well, you got in number two, bro? Did you? Is this something? I'll find out. Is this something recent? Number two and number one are fluid. Yeah, they. I'm telling you, bro. It switch it switches back and forth for me. So as it stands at this specific moment right now. Yeah. Number two, I got West Side Boogie. More, More black superheroes. Okay. Well, if he did it, tell him keep it on the hush. Cause I'm the one that gave you traction every time that you got stuck. Guess your memory got crushed. Forgot I showed up in the clutch. Now you up in your zone. Yo, this is my favorite. This is my favorite rapper to listen to. And this this album just really continued that. Mm -hmm. Everything's for sale. Thirst 48. Uh, part two, point one. Point, everything. One, two, yeah. yeah. This one just continued that and really enhanced it, if anything. That was a fire album, bro. This shit, it recently dropped, so I'm still really taking it in. You mentioned um, Denzel mentioning therapy in his uh, in the joint, mm -hmm. and that's a big part of this album as well. Not yeah. not only therapy either, like therapy plays a big role, but also just like self-healing, like recognizing when there's an issue and going about fixing it those issues within you but then also relationships like and not 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 neglecting important relationships is a big part of this album the the, the top three i'm playing the most right now when i go to play nonchalant is tough nonchalant. yeah prideful mm -hmm. two prideful two mm -hmm. is special special and then windows down with snoop bro i, I like snoop. that track a lot too it's fire yeah so number one number one for me um you know what i'm not gonna say the album right away i'm just gonna talk uh, there was a there were a few albums that dropped this year that uh, surprised me sonically. Denzel was one of them because you know I expected something different from him. Ben Staples to an extent, and 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 obviously Drake. Drake that that surprised me sonically. But this one, this album, um, it slapped, bro. It slapped. So Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers was is my number one. There were several themes in this album as well. Love, grief, loss, um, cancel culture was there as well. Spirituality was another one of those. Huge. And and in that album, I felt like, to be honest, anybody could go in there and grab one song yeah. off of it. You might grab three, you might grab two, but I feel like there's a song for, for everybody. There's something. Exactly. Loss of grief. This is song for that relationship problems 
there's obviously a song for that. If you, if you, if you heard the album, you know exactly what song I'm talking about. And if you just want to vibe out and just chill, like yeah. there's, there's Kendrick and there's some shit for I yeah. Feel it. You want some concert and 95? You he got you. You want some wavy rich spirit you got savior it's gonna go crazy at a show you just put me on what, n95? n95 is gonna bro, go crazy at the show. well we need to book the tickets yeah, right after still. this <laughs> we do we do and then if i but as but there's there's a song for everybody on this album and and even though there's a lot of themes in it he tied them all together to create this one well two but it's really one cohesive album and that was impressive for me so yeah that was my number one bro fire fire amazing project by kendrick i guess i gotta wait another five years for another <laughs> hopefully <one>. I, not <laughs> we'll see i hopefully guess hopefully not number one I kendrick i, I had it. to that's I my it. did i say my top i don't think i said nah, my top three n95 yep rich spirit yep and then father time we got the same yo so this album yeah that i have a number one out of all the albums on my list Honorable mentions included. Yeah. This is the most recent one I've heard. Okay. I've heard the entire album now four times. You mentioned uh, you only heard, when you said you only heard the West Side Boogie, West Side Boogie once, once. yeah. And um, you didn't want to force yourself to put it. Yeah. I was like, yo, it dropped before the date. So it, it meets the criteria for the date. So I'm like, nah, I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to give it its just due because it's the, the initial reaction spoke to me that much. It's Lupe Fiasco, yeah. Drill Music in Zion. Yes, sir. In all of my work, you see this wrestling with fate. It's even in the brush strokes, how aggressively I strafe. Less like putting on some makeup, more like severing a face. Wow. I don't blame you, bro. Lupe Fiasco has the craziest pen ever. Oh, you said it. He said it. <laughs> he said it. And his his light shit, his light shit is is the bottom of the ocean for some niggas. Like, bro, <laughs> this, the songs by themselves m make me want to put it at number one. Then there's the overall theme of the project and the way each song connects that I haven't even fully gotten into yet in terms of like understanding yeah. fully again, cause that, that's a time thing. Yeah. But just how each individual song speaks is crit, bro, so then Miss Mural, yeah. Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Mural is yo. <laughs> <laughs> Them precious things. Yeah. The hands. Yeah. Yo. Just yeah. just what that man did with just gestures and Facts. told stories. Told Facts. whole stories just with with con the, consistently using the metaphor and and the, the theme of the hands like sure. so precious things miss mural and seattle you said there were a couple albums that surprised you sonically yeah. this year you were talking about the kendrick one i believe kendrick one yeah this is one of those you go into a lupe project expecting bars and it's, it feels it feels like wrong to just call them bars, bars. bro because it's just it's so it's, much more it's like deeper than bars <laughs> like, it's beyond bars beyond bro. bars bro Jeez. For real, you go in expecting all of that with Lupe. The part that surprised me with it was how good the album sounds sonically. Like the tracks bump. Like there's there's legit songs in here that I want to add to my playlist. Yeah. But what really put it at number one for me was the depth of it. Like yeah. how deep it goes. And I I I still haven't still reached haven't. the bottom. Like still haven't. And I'm the first one. I will say yo sit with music for a while for some time before you make a full decision on it. It spoke to me enough in the short time I've had with it for it for me to have it here mm -hmm. at number one. That happens sometimes. You can sometimes you hear a, an album one time and know mm -hmm. that this is this gotta be number one. This gotta be top three. It's been a, it's been a dope year for hip hop, for music in general, bro. It's just dope. And with this the, the guys that is, is scheduled or supposed to be releasing this year as well, it, it sounds like it's gonna be better. We're gonna get to some honorable mentions. A couple of them you had on your list. So, Tana Talk 4, Benny. Mm. Boldy James, Killing Nothing is a fire project. Killing Nothing? I haven't heard it. All right. So, I think I've mentioned three that you got to go listen to. Ko yeah, Koji Radical, Reason to Smile, Red Veil, Learn to Swim, and uh, Boldy James, Killing Nothing. Currency and somebody dropped a tape together. But I want to hear that one, too. Just wanted to mention that. But I want to hear that track, that album as well. Yeah. It seems like, especially Currency. We heard Currency on, uh, what was it? 
uh, Logics, was it? Logic. Logic. Yeah. Logic. Yeah. Honorable Logic, mention. Yeah. Logic. Facts, Vinyl facts, Days. Facts, facts. Saba. A few good things you had done on your list. That's an honorable mention for me. Wanted to point that out. Dreamville. D Day. D Day. Yeah, yeah. What do you think well. about the the weekend album, bro? That was. I know that was early. That was early in the year. It was. I don't think. Yeah. It wouldn't have made my. It wouldn't have made my top. Obviously, my top ten. It. I don't think it would have made my top fifteen. To be honest, one of my honorable mentions. Drake. <laughs> that shit grew on me, bro. So, so first you were like you were cool. You were cool with it. I was cool. And with then it. you were like, I swear you were like you weren't feeling it. I wasn't, and then and I so went it grew back. back. I went back, bro. We went into expecting something different. And I'm going to say that every time because it's true. I expected something completely freaking different. Honestly, never mind. You won't give me house music. I wasn't expecting that. And when I accepted it, I'm like, I got to go listen to it again. And it grew on me. Comment section. Let us know what you think about the list. What y'all like? What y'all? What y'all think? What y'all? How y'all rocking with the list? How y'all rocking with the list? Like we mentioned, there's a whole bunch of stuff on Patreon. Episode two of Guess the Rapper by the Bars has just been posted. It is what you thought. I'm gonna just leave it like that. But yeah, that's the video, y'all. Love. Thank you all for supporting. We appreciate it. If you like the video, hit like. We appreciate those. If you're new, consider subscribing. That helps us grow. I'll keep supporting. And we keep dropping. That's how that goes. Peace.